finally i have received the rakuten offer letter guys and uh, this is the thing that i was waiting for very long time so that i can make this video to tell you all that yes boss i have cleared one more company and if you need me to reveal my rubric interview experience digicert interview experience and many other top product based companies experience you comment down in the comment section what you need in tomorrow's video and i will make the video for you for this video stay tuned till the end because i'll be telling everything in 2025 how the interview is happening how i have applied to rakuten what exactly the scenarios were asked how coding is important and what are the coding questions that were asked and at the same time i'll be telling you some interesting tips and facts so watch the video till the end the like target for this video is 200 likes if you want me to make one more video of my new offer letter tomorrow so let's get started so all of you uh, see here uh, <clears throat> any time i get any offer i primarily apply through linkedin guys so i always tell uh, if you are able to see i always applied to this position 6 uh, to 7 months back if you are able to see senior site reliability engineer kubernetes and open shift and if you see about this jd uh, you will be amazed to see that what are the actual things they are asking they are asking all the real time experience and you should be aware that rakuten is an e-commerce company and it's having its own cloud and this particular project was about its own cloud rakuten has its own cloud where they were hiring for kubernetes engineers who knows coding okay so that is very much important so if you see jd here implement and ensure uh, platform capabilities proactively identify and address issues uh, serve as a team member platform team to closely work with applications l2 engineers python you should know to empower the task collaborate with global teams spanning japan europe north america and operating on shift basis so for your information i applied to rakuten almost 2 3 times but every time the application got rejected but luckily what has happened is if you see here every time there will be an hr map to a particular job position so i reached out to the hr i shared uh, my resume to him and i told him that uh, boss i am looking out for the job opportunity and that's how i got the uh, call from the recruiter and then uh, the interview was scheduled almost four rounds happened uh, for this particular interview and i'll be sharing all the interview questions round by round so stay tuned till the end of this video and if you have not liked the video make sure you like it so round number 1 started with kubernetes as i have told you kubernetes is very very important for any devops and sre engineer to start with so you see what are the real time interview questions they have asked what will happen if the kubernetes node and the worker node firewalls gets broken will the existing deployments work or impact on any deployments how will you communicate to the people so basically you are in a production team how if this issue happens basically the network gets broken how do you manage to fix this right the second question was how to use secrets in kubernetes what encryption methods did you use so basically in kubernetes you might aware that kind of secrets is there so let's say like if you want to save username password you want if you want to save a password in the text file there are various kinds of patterns in the kubernetes secrets which you need to know and at that point of time i was able to answer both of these questions uh, i am not going to reveal all the answers i will leave those answers for you because the list is very long guys i have to tell you four rounds interview questions so i need to make sure that you understand the importance of how the interview is happening how confidently you can tell to the interviewer about your uh, your knowledge that is what i am going to help you in this video the third question is how does the gslb load balancer work uh, what is sli slo sla how can you create extensions in grafana how does elk setup has been done and what type of agents you have collected you have a json data could you please let me know how would you ingest and collect the data in keys format so basically you should be aware that in today's world all the data that is communicated between two websites is happening based on the json data transfer and this was the question which was asking uh, me let's say you have a json what coding language would you use right will you use python will you use node js will you use uh, java will you use Uh, powershell what are the things that will use and make the json data uh, aggregated and take out the respective keys from that so that's what the question was uh, if you see here what is the dns port uh, uh, number it's basically 53 what is an init container specialized containers that run before the app container so in kubernetes you should be aware that they, we call like sidecar init containers and the actual app container so what kubernetes does is 
Kubernetes gives the power to have separate containers running in, in particular deployment. So that will help your application to actually have the prerequisites to be completed. And by the time I am telling the prerequisites, you should be aware that we are starting the batch 11 in next week, 29th March, and all the prerequisites have been added in the website. Uh, if you see here, uh, the batch 11 has 14 projects. I will be completely teaching from scratch. You will have job guidance, one-to-one -one mentorship, and every project, let's say DevSecOps, pipeline monitoring, advanced projects of Docker, Kubernetes, Istio, Kiali, uh, custom resource definitions, Kubernetes, advanced project, and job guidance. I'm going to give you all this interview questions whatever I'm talking in this video, along with that, whatever the companies I have been cracking from last few years, you should be aware that I have cracked Amazon, Walmart, Microsoft, uh, and uh, Dun & Bradstreet, SAP, Informatica, Paytm, and many more companies like this, and I'll be helping you with best. So what are you waiting for? Enroll yourself. Last few seats are left with 65% off. If you are seeing the flashing token on the description, go ahead and apply and see you all in the live session of 29th March at 9 a.m. Before that, you should complete some prerequisites which are attached in the website. So <coughs> let's go ahead in the uh, questions. So you should be seeing that Kubernetes is given very, very uh, importance, guys. If you see here, what is Sidecar? Okay, what is Sidecar? And uh, at that point of time, I have written some answers also. So what I do basically is every time I sit in interview, come back from interview, I write all the questions and answers. If I am not knowing questions, I'll be writing down the answers also. What is Ingress Load Balancer? You should be seeing that. Uh, at the time of interview, I was not able to write the code, but if you see here, I have attached the code here. What is ingress load balancer, API version kind metadata specification. So ingress is basically a kind of a router inside your Kubernetes and it will help your app, uh, your systems to get uh, routed based on the path. Okay, let's say slash path slash four. And you should be aware that how to write the code in the interview. So Kubernetes manifest files is must and in batch 11, we are going to teach you. And if you see here, uh, very important topics are also there. If you see, in the round uh, two, let's uh, go with the round two. Round one was purely on Kubernetes guys and coding. Round two, what is web access firewall? How do you give access to your services in AWS? What is the difference between kube proxy and kube CTL proxy command, uh, right? Can you design the architecture of UI and backend application deployment on Kubernetes again? fully, fully Kubernetes. So I'll definitely tell you all those who are watching this video, make sure that you are knowing Kubernetes and getting a job is not easy guys in 2025 because competition is really, really tough and uh, people are literally behind uh, jobs. What is Istio? What are inodes? Inodes, many of you are not aware that whenever the Linux systems uh, disk get filled, right? And you still see that disk has space, but still you are not able to put any file. It means inode issue is there. What are uh, what is the command? NC hyphen Z hyphen V localhost one uh, one dash six five five three five. So what he did was he gave me a command uh, uh, in the chat in the Zoom meeting chat, and he asked me what does this command do? What is the difference between application and network load balancer? What is this code? to add the Terraform. So basically this was a question. So in Terraform, you have something called life cycle policies, which are very, very much important. So in this life cycle policy, you should be able to understand that there is a concept of uh, life cycle policy, which say prevent destroy equal to true. So basically if you attach this, uh, if any time Terra Terraform destroy runs by any chance, this particular resource will not get deleted. Okay. How does the Prometheus extracts the data from Kubernetes node exporters? You already know. How do you deploy daemon set for Kubernetes? Again, the daemon set code also I have written guys. So everything, whatever you are seeing is very much genuine. And, and literally I have shown you my offer letter also, which I have cleared. So make sure that you watch the video and 200 plus likes is very much important. Round three is purely on the real time scenario. So he gave me a scenario. You have an S3 bucket where a file is placed and you have to download that file in a container. How will you do? So basically you can write a Python code uh, with Boto3. You can put a shell script and write that and any kind of task you can do. And uh, the next question was, uh, uh, <clears throat> what type of load balancers do you use? So again, uh, some kind of load balancers questions. And uh, if you see here, there are many, many questions. If I talk about some of the uh, coding questions, uh, just to inform you, uh, the actual Python questions which was asked was, you have a Python code, okay, you have 100 Linux systems. So 
how do you monitor this 100 Linux system? You can do this coding in any terms, let's say Python, shell scripting or PowerShell. Okay. So I went with Python and the scenario was you have 100 Linux systems. You have to monitor the CPU and memory of these 100 Linux systems. So what I did was I need to use, I know that Paramico is a, a module in Python, is a library in Python. You have to write the code and uh, SSH into each of the system, uh, which ha is kind of a list of servers, a list of 100 servers they will be giving you. And uh, you have to iterate over that and prepare a particular Python code where you divide the certain block blocks in the functions. You write the first function to assist into the system, second function to gather the information of CPU and memory, third function to display or to send as an email. Okay. If you need more details, I would definitely say the REST API automations of Python, the hit the server, get the data kind of automations or any kind of automations that in the interview people are asking, I will be able to help you in batch level. So what are you waiting for? You have seen how I have cracked Rakuten. What are the things I have done? And if you want to know how much offer I got, do let me know in the comment section and whatever I am telling, trust me guys, I am getting the offer. That is where I am telling you guys. And you, you might feel that Are, yaar, ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. all these questions are easy, but trust me when you are sitting in the interview, you will literally feel the heat in Kubernetes. He went deep inside and he asked me a question also at the end. Praveen, do you have any questions? I said, boss, you are the Kubernetes God. You asked so many questions, which I didn't know. And I am expecting that I have answered half of your questions, half to full, almost like 60, 70% I have answered, but still the 30% I have never worked and I'm willing to learn and give you the answers in the second round. And that's why you always show the confidence to the interviewer that boss, I'm going to do this and take me, you take me in. That's what you need to tell and make sure that you are giving 100% in any interview, get more offer letters and select the best, which feels that, okay, you have done the best. Okay. So this is Praveen signing off from this video. Apart from learning the interview questions, getting the offer letters. If you see my channel, I have given all my interview questions of Amazon, Adobe, Microsoft, Google, Paytm, SAP, Informatica, many questions are there. You can check out that playlist also and uh, do join the batch 11. See you all and uh, meet you.